Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Mall. I'm Dr. Casey Crisp. So, Dr. Crisp. Yes. If we had to summarize briefly the questions we get from patients. Okay. Heat versus ice. Oh, big one. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's walk through, if you will, what is the benefits of heat versus ice so we can okay. answer the main question, which is, when do you use yes. heat or ice? Yes. Got it. Okay. Let's do so it. So you're heat, I'm ice. Got it. Okay. What are your responsibilities okay. of heat, applying heat to an injured area? Okay. So heat can help with pain. Okay. It helps with extra movement, like if you feel stiff. Okay. okay. Um, it'll actually help bring blood flow to an area, so an old injury. Um, and that's pretty much the main things that heat does. Okay. Yeah. Whereas ice, on the other hand, right, ice actually constricts some of the blood vessels. Yes. Which that action reduces the amount of blood flow to the area. Yep. So it does allow for things to reduce swelling. Yes. That's one of the positive benefits of that. Mm -hmm. And unlike heat, where you said it causes a little bit more flexibility or motion, mm -hmm. ice can sometimes restrict that area yeah. um, with due responsibility. Yep, right? absolutely. And so each one of them has their purposes. Yes. Now you said something that was important. You said that heat can bring blood flow to an area that's been injured maybe of long term, a long such time as ago. a chronic injury. Yeah, like a chronic injury, like that chronic neck or shoulder or back. Absolutely. Okay. So really that kind of leads into the question of is heat or ice bad? Well, the answer is really no. No. Neither of them are technically bad and both of them can be used. Yes. But it sounds like timing is really the important factor. It is the important thing. Like in a brand new injury, I twist, I twist my ankle, that's a big one. Ice is best for that because it's pain and swelling, which will help the body heal. Now yeah. if it's an older, you go for a walk, you feel kind of stiff. Maybe heat may do that to help the ligaments and muscles and joints move better. Yeah, and sometimes your provider actually may prescribe you use heat before an activity yep. or ice after an activity. There yes. can be important benefits as to when you use them. Absolutely. So the important key factor is understanding the properties that each of them play yes. in how the body responds to when they're applied to the skin and then the timing. Yep. That leads into the therapeutic benefit that you as a patient might have or you or myself might have yep. as we're navigating some of the injuries that we have on a day-to-day -day basis. Yep, pretty simple. And then the big question is, well, how do I know? Well, honestly, Trom. Yeah. Wh whichever one feels better and makes you feel better, then that may be your answer. Yeah, if you're on your own, you can attempt and apply those same principles, or if you're being prescribed, that may bring to light why your provider is prescribing those mm -hmm. things at a certain time. So just in kind of a quick summary, real, real brief, Yep. You as heat, your job is to dilate, bring blood, blood flow, flow to the area, allow better. for healing, yep. reduce pain. Ice on the hand, other hand, constrict the area, reduce swelling, mm -hmm. reduce some of the pain. Okay. But timing is the important piece. Absolutely. We hope this video is helpful for you and brings some light to when you should apply ice versus heat.